Good morning, this is Danka Metcalf with TradeOutLoud.com. Welcome to my pre-market game plan for major future indices gold and oil for the last day of this week, Friday, October 28th, and it is 9, 10 a.m. Eastern Time. As usual, we're going to start with YM. This is the hourly chart, and this is the range that we're trading in. So we have support at 18,000, and we have resistance at 18,186, and this is pretty much the range that we have been trading for weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks. Uh, so far, bottoms are being bought into the 18,000 uh, uh, zone, and you can see right here we had a huge rocket bar, um, and then uh, yesterday's trading session uh, also uh, took us higher into close to the top of the range. Uh, Asian session came back down, European session came in and took it back up, and now we're going to have to wait and see how the New York session is going to react. Uh, because we're halfway. So uh, 18,100 is uh, the area that I'm going to look for a pullback and a possible buy with the uh, future targets into 18,130, 18,150, and the top of the range into 18,175. If we manage to break below, I'm going to look for a short, but only if we trade uh, below 18,100, and I'm going to look for a target into 18,155, and I'm going to look for a last target into 18,020, and obviously we're going to get follow through, sure, 18,000, 18, back down again, back to the bottom of the range. So, so far, very neutral on the day. We're going to have to wait and see uh, how the New York session opens, evaluate the first minute and then we're going to go ahead with our plan let's take a look at es uh es weaker than ym you can see that uh, although we're still trading within a daily range uh hourly chart seems to be descending a little bit forming support at uh 21 um 2115 area and then we have secondary support area right here at 2125 2126 if we manage to uh, hold this area at 2125 we have odds of continuing higher um, other than that the targets are are going to be very choppy but look for targets into 21 uh, 2131 and 2135 if we should get a very unusual move uh, to the upside, look for a further target into 2140. But this is going to be the line in the sand for ES right here. So ES weaker uh, than YM, not a lot of optimism in YM. So um, we're going to see. If we move to the downside, uh, I would wait for a confirmation uh, below 2125.50. Um, and uh, then uh, I will look for a short opportunity all the way into 2120, 2115. Not a lot of movement uh, there. And an NQ, uh, NQ again weaker than YM and uh, obviously weaker than, um, than um, uh, ES. And um, it, it is again at, it, right here. It is at the bottom of the of the daily range. Uh, 4,800 is the danger zone because the more we trade and the more we form these lower highs into 4,800, the more odds we have to basically slide lower for a target into 4,750. Uh, so um, th this is not very encouraging for NQ right here. But however, uh, if we break above 4820, uh, we're going to have a target into uh, 4840, uh, 4850, 4860, and back into uh, the 4800s. If we do not hold this area, we're going to look for a short, but the short is going to come in only uh, below this 48, uh, 4810 area so we're gonna have to wait for a little bit of confirmation because we had an accelerated move up into the European session uh, let's take a look at GC and GC is still in the same daily range is it it, it is ascending and I'm gonna put it quick quickly because we have been talking about the straight for a very long time so double bottom on the daily chart uh, you can see the 200 moving average ascending uh, right here, we're uh, just about to form a cross in the moving averages that will uh, that might propel gold higher into 1300. Um, for day trade purpose, I'm going to move um, to oops, I'm going to move to the hourly chart back up. So we had a beautiful move to the top of the range. Now, 
Um, this move came um, um, uh, sharp up. Uh, I could see it on smaller time frames, and it stabilized off uh, 1263, um, and uh, it just snapped higher. Uh, however, it is into the range right here, so this is the danger zone. Um, so far, no real trades, not unless you took this this pop higher. I didn't participate in this pop higher. higher. And this actually, uh, the base breakout happened at 8.56 a.m. So um, right now you would have to wait for the price to stabilize. A pullback into 12.70 can be considered for, um, for a long. So a pullback into 12.70 can be considered for a long and a target into 12.74 once again. Uh, and so it's pretty much going to be a range trade. Let's take a look at CL, and this is oil. Oil coming in, and uh, we do have, I'm going to show you the daily chart right here. So we do have this triple bottom, if you will, right here, right into the support area, $48 and about $0.80 cents, um, to $49. So this is a range right here. If we don't manage to break above $50, um, uh, we have odds of... Uh, uh, breaking this low right here and we do have a lot of room to come in all the way into $48 and even more so into $47.50. So uh, when we go to the, to the hourly chart and again we're, we, we are still, uh, we're, right now we are at the bottom of this range. So shorting at this point it's a little late in the game because shorting should have came in right here at 48 uh, 4980 or into this area at 4960 but this is the bottom of the range so we'll see how price is going to handle this range if it weakens into this area yes it's going to break down but if it holds this area we might see a pop if this pop is going to be weak this is the other short opportunity we're going to see if we're going to get probably a 50 percent retracement from this low to this high right here so uh into 4937 approximate area for a turnaround for today this was all for today. I wish you all have a very good, relaxing weekend. Uh, and don't forget, we have a new upcoming class um, in November, and that is on November. But, but it's a seven-day power income futures day trading and swing trading class. It's going to be uh, from November 12th to the 18th. It's going to have a special price. And uh, if you want to learn more, uh, email me at info at tradeallow.com. And I'm more than happy to talk to you more about it. Uh, hope you all have a very enjoyable weekend.